you're telling us the contract's a disaster? I'm afraid so. What if we decided to ignore the contract? Well, you could ignore it, but my advice is that you would be in big trouble. That's just brilliant. Why did you sign it? A contract drawn up by a wide boy like Eddie Usher. What happens if we do the gig, David? Eddie will get all the money. I'm not turning up at the Galaxy just to line Eddie Usher's pockets. You'd better do something about that contract, or we won't be playing any gigs anywhere. OK. I'll think of something. Yeah, right. And what about Jane? Is she going to sing with us or not? Look, I'm working on it. Don't worry. <sighs> Somebody likes you. <laughs> I doubt it. Who are they from? I don't know. There's no card or anything. Oh, they're wonderful. They must be from Bill. He likes to send flowers. I'll put them in some water. Yes. Jane, hi. Hi, Bill. I don't know what I've done to deserve them, but thanks for the flowers. The flowers? They're wonderful. Uh, but not from me. They're not? Uh, no, but anyway, it's good you called. Can we meet up later? Something's come up and I'd really like to talk to you about it. Such as? Well, I really don't want to talk about it on the phone. I'd rather tell you face to face. I'll pick you up at 7. Would that be okay? Sure. I'll see you at 7. Bye. That's weird. They're not from Bill. It's Eddie. Hello, Eddie. We're glad you've called. Are you? That's nice. Now, nah, listen, girls. I'm a reasonable man. But rules are there to be obeyed. You're getting behind with your rent. And that isn't good for anyone. Why don't you arrange a standing order with your bank to pay me the rent every month? Because if you do that, we'll avoid any unnecessary unpleasantness. When you've fixed the wiring and repaired the water heater, we'll pay the rent. But not before. That told him. At least we know Eddie can't have sent the flowers. You know what? I think it must have been Matt. Oh, perhaps you'd better call him. Could you do it? Please? <laughs> I'm Matt here. Is that you, Matt? It's Ali. Sorry, Ali, there was uh, something funny with the line. I, I know this is a bit of an odd question, but did you send some flowers to Jane this morning? Will she do it? What? It was all on the note. There was no note. Oh, no, it must have fallen off. I want her to sing with us. Sing with you? Well, with the band. We need a singer, and when we heard Jane the other night, we thought... Well, I thought she was brilliant. Did you? So did I. You know something, that's a really nice idea. I'll have a word with her about it. Thanks, Ali, you're a star. Bye, Matt. How about trying something that could really change your life?
can't believe this. It's crazy. You know, it's my job if I get caught. Eddie's the real criminal, not us. We'll probably go to prison. But if we don't find the contract, I'll never be able to pay you back all your money. So let's get started. <laughs> How are we going to find a contract in all this lot? It's like looking for a... a needle in a haystack. I know. Have you got it already? No, but... It's Eddie. They've offered you the job in New York. That's right. They emailed me this morning and wanted to know how soon Stop! I... Stop! What the hell are you doing in here? Legally, it's called breaking and entering. Who do you think you are, a lawyer? That's right. And I'm representing Matt and Simon. I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you call the police, so I'll have to show them this. Mr. Asher, or should I say Mr. Pym, or Mr. De Quincey, or Senor Hector Fernandez? Now, the contract for the band isn't very favorable to my clients. I wonder if I might suggest one or two changes? David, are you okay? Couldn't be better. Listen, Eddie's agreed to make changes to the contract. Has he cancelled the gig? No, the gig's fine. Also, he's going to be doing some repairs to Jane's flat. All you need now is a singer. A what? A singer. Yeah, I'm working on it. Good. The only concession Eddie wasn't prepared to make was that the lead singer could be you. Sorry. Catch you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Matt. Would you mind telling us what's going on? 